Right guys, in this video we're going to be installing the FX Blue Trade Copier. It's a great free piece of software um, that allows you to copy trades from one MT4 terminal to another or MT5. Um, so first thing you want to do is go to Google, type in FX Blue, oh my goodness, Trade Copier. Um, and then this first option is the one you want, so click on that. Then you'll see uh, if you're using MT5, uh, go to the MT5 version down here. I'll be using MT4, so what I'll do is go to the free download. What you also need to do is um, register with FX Blue in order to receive this free download. Um, I've already done that, uh, it's fairly straightforward, so just go through the process of doing that. Um, and then you will get your download. So open up uh, the folder with your downloads in, extract um, the FX Blue trade copier and you'll have this file here, this executable file. So just double click that. And go through the process of installation. Look at this, agree to it. And then it will come up with a list of all the MT4 terminals that you have installed on your computer. Um, so I've already installed it on my Blueberry FTMO, um, my Forex funds, uh, terminals um, what I want to install it on is these IC markets ones if this is your first time installing you might as well just install it on all of the terminals you've got um, so select those and then press install uh, and then you'll see it's successfully been installed now what you need to do is open up the MT4 terminals that you wish to use this with um, so I'm going to open up these IC markets and demo accounts um, and then we look at that, we've got that open, we'll pop one over here and the other one over there. In fact, we'll swap them around because um, this is the first one. Okay, so you can see this is my, this will be my primary sender account. It's got about a million dollars in it, this demo. This one's got around 500,000. Um, I've got, I've installed position size calculator. If you uh, don't know how to install that or use that, check out on my YouTube uh, Magic FX channel, the how to install PSC, position size calculator um, for MT4. Also available for MT5 as well. Um, and what you want to do, or what I do, is usually have a 20 40 40 ratio um, with three separate take profits. Um, and I have an automatic uh, take profit times four. Uh, so it automatically, for the first TP, which is 20R, sets it to. Uh, 4R, the first target, um, depending on the size of the stop loss. You can see if I adjust it like this, it uh, changes the size or where the take profit is automatically to four times the stop loss size. Anyway, what you'll have done um, after installing it is you go down to Expert Advisors, uh, press the cross, and then you'll see you've got FX Blue Trade Copy Receiver and FX Blue Trade Copy Sender. This is going to be the sender one. This is going to be the MT4 where I actually place the trades. So this is going to be the sender. And simply enough, what you want to do is just open up any chart window. So it doesn't matter which pair, just open one up, right click, chart window, um, and drag that sender over. Now for me, um, default uh, settings are perfectly fine for this. So just press OK on that. And then that has set up the sender on this, as simple as that. You'll see here what you've got is a heartbeat, um, and we'll go into that. Uh, that's basically just to confirm, we can confirm that re the receiver is receiving the signal from this once we've set that up. Uh, so if we go to the receiver side, and you know, this this blue window, you can just leave it. You've, you have to leave that running in the background if you want it to work, um, but you can just click off it um, and leave it there. And now for the receiver side, um, the same thing. You'll see this uh, within the Expert Advisors tab. See this here, if you don't see it, again, um, just right click, press refresh, and it will come up if you've installed it correctly. So what you wanna do this time is, um, we don't even have to open up a new chart window on this one. You can just drag it over to whatever. Um, there's one setting I would look at on this, which is the, it may or may not apply to you, um, but it certainly will one day if you keep up with your trading, um, 
which is the lot size limit by default. For some reason, it has maximum lots set at 10. Um, for me, I would just change that to, oh dear, you have to double click it first. So just change it to, I don't know, 100. Um, press OK. That's the only settings really that I worry about in that. Um, and basically what it will do um, is if you place a pending order on this side, it won't copy the pending order over. You can change the settings so that it does. And that's something you might want to look into yourself because I haven't really played with the settings much, but I know you can do that. But for me, I like to keep it so that once you've placed a pending order, what it does is it waits for you to get tagged in. As soon as you do, it will instantly mark it execute over on the receiver side. Um, rather than just copying over the whole pending order. Also, what it will do is um, if it you get tapped out on the sender side, it will um, it will close the trade on the receiver. What this means, if there's a, a difference in spread, uh, you don't have to worry about not actually getting tagged into the trade um, on the receiver side when you when you might on the sender. Um, and you also don't have to worry about getting um, your stop loss being hit uh, if the spread is wider on the receiver, if it if it doesn't uh, get hit on the sender. Um, so yeah, uh, so what we'll do, we'll place an order here. You'll see it's come up here. Now I haven't examined price, I haven't looked at this. I um, It's just a silly, silly trade really, but we've been tagged in right here. Um, and as you can see, it's copied the trade over. This account is about roughly double this one. As you can see, it's pretty much exactly uh, automatically copied the lot sizes over um, with regards to the balance on the account. Um, so we'll let that play out a little bit. Um, and yeah, it, it's as easy as that. You'll see again on the, um, the sender and receiver, it's got this heartbeat and it says over here, heartbeat, um, The it says the exact same numbers um, on the heartbeat sent and the heartbeat received. What you also wanna make sure to do, and I'd already done this, so um, is go to tools, options, and on, on the expert advisors tab, uh, allow automated trading, as well as allow DLL imports and do the exact same for the receiver side as well. Okay. Um, now, as far as I know, there's no limit to the amount of receiver uh, terminals you have open. Um, so you are, you can copy as many as you like. Um, obviously, you only want one sender. It looks like we've just been <laughs> tagged out of that trade. Yeah, um, who knows what kind of entry that was anyway. Um, but again, it's uh, it's a great method. Um, so again, you can use a, a stop entry as well. So as if we were entering here, if it goes up here, um, we'll be tagged into a trade. Um, but yeah, overall, it's it's pretty it's pretty simplistic to use. You know, price isn't moving much today, which is probably why. We are not getting tagged in. It is a bank holiday. Um, I just wanted to show you how it works. And yeah, there's, there's not a heck of a lot to it, really. So thank you for watching. Um, yeah. Do, 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 do.